Occupying more than 300 acres in Redding, Pennsylvania, you'll find Carpenter's main mill. In the late 19th century, it consisted of only a few brick structures. Today, more than 50 buildings house hundreds of pieces of melting, hot working, finishing, and testing equipment. This highly automated facility has some of the world's most advanced steelmaking equipment, all to help us work quickly and cost effectively. Strict quality control, including ISO and QS9000 registration and Six Sigma methodology, helps customers get what they want. We're equally stringent about environmental and worker safety as we are about product quality. It all starts here. Scrap metals and virgin alloys are melted in one of several electric arc furnaces. Molten steel is refined in an argon oxygen vessel to reduce carbon and refine the chemistry so customers receive a high quality product. Continuous casting is next. Billets are formed right after melting, then straightened and cut to specific lengths. Ingot casting produces large finish sizes, unique alloys, or small lot sizes. Carpenter's Mill has the most advanced vacuum induction melting furnaces in the world. Our newest vessel has 24 tons of capacity and with three other furnaces gives us the most VIM capacity in one location. Using vacuum induction, metals are refined. This results in cleaner, more homogeneous metals with superior ductility, higher strength and improved fatigue resistance. Ingots from vacuum induction melting are conditioned with sophisticated cutting and grinding tools. Remelting creates an ingot with a finer, more uniform grain structure while reducing non-metallic impurities. Carpenter has 17 computer-controlled vacuum arc remelting furnaces, one of the largest concentrations in the industry. Eight electro-slag remelting furnaces create high purity metals with fewer inclusions and improved mechanical properties. It's possible for us to melt a 17-ton ingot up to 40 inches in diameter. Both vacuum arc and electro-slag remelting yield ultra-pure premium metals. The next stop for an ingot is hot working. Here, metal is shaped and starts to take its final form. A 4,500 ton hydraulic forging press can make round, rectangular, and multi-diameter bars. This technologically advanced press is computer controlled and delivers unmatched product consistency. Our SX65 rotary forge is the largest in the USA and works effectively on hard to forge grades. Four powerful hammers pound away on a billet up to speeds of 175 strokes per minute. The SX32 is a smaller rotary forge making round bar and special shapes. Hot rolling is the main production process between melting and finishing. Billets are worked into either bar, rod, or strip. First, billets are batch or induction heated. Then they rapidly travel through a series of rolling stands that get gradually smaller. These roll shape the billet into customer requested sizes. Carpenter's hot rolling system is advanced enough to turn a 10 foot long billet into a mile length of 3 8 inch round wire in a few minutes. Computers regulate the furnaces, track materials, generate production reports, and help with scheduling. Carpenter cold finishes bar, wire, and strip for customers who want product requiring little or no further processing. Unheated material is forced through grinders, shavers, or dyes to create desired size, hardness, and other properties. Bars are batch annealed in furnaces to impart desired hardness and grain structure. In large bar finishing, rounds over three inches in diameter are straightened. Then the ends are cut with abrasive or cold cutting band saws. Turning and polishing produces the final finish. Bars under three inches in diameter are straightened and finished to customer requested size, shape and tolerance. 
to increase capacity and productivity, automated inline processing combines finishing operations. Turning, centerless grinding, and polishing equipment give bars their correct diameters and finish. Each bar is ultrasonically inspected to find minute defects to maintain a high level of quality. Wire undergoes a similar finishing process as bar. Wire is annealed in either continuous or batch furnaces that can be atmospherically controlled to minimize surface contamination. Next, wire can be shaved or drawn to create a smooth surface. A strand copper coating line creates uniform thickness. Carpenter wire can be packaged to work with the customer shipping and manufacturing operations. Since 1999, Carpenter's capacity to manufacture strip has doubled. Product quality has improved, lead times are shorter, and customers can choose from more sizes than ever. Strip finishing includes batch or continuous annealing. A continuous strip annealing furnace uses an innovative vertical design. Automated steering and tension control prevents edge damage and stretching. A 20-high reversing mill gives our strip its superior shape, flatness, close tolerance, and excellent surface finish. A stretch bend leveler improves the shape and flatness of strip less than five one-hundredths of an inch thick. This precision slitter can cut strip to widths as narrow as a quarter of an inch. When you walk around our mill, you'll notice it's a place where everything works seamlessly and with amazing efficiency. With a commitment to producing the very best materials is seen in our innovative thinking and leading edge equipment. Our product catalog is extensive. Our technical expertise is outstanding. Our distribution network goes a long way to save money. All of which proves that Carpenter is truly a global leader in specialty alloys.